Inside this container, we have uh, hydrogen peroxide. That's that same stuff that uh, you put on your cuts. We talked about that with the glow stick. So what's cool about hydrogen peroxide is it's called heavy water, H2O2. Just an extra oxygen molecule on there. But what's cool about that extra oxygen is when it goes on a cut, it bubbles, and those oxygen bubbles are kind of clean in your cut. The hydrogen peroxide in here, though, is stronger than the stuff you can get at the store. Uh, that's like 1%. This is 30% hydrogen peroxide. But what we also have in there is a little food coloring and a little bit of Dawn Dish Soap. The reason we want the Dawn Dish Soap is to trap any ex extra oxygen we see. And we'll see how much oxygen we can trap when we combine it with this chemical. Uh, looks like water, but uh, definitely not drinkable. This is potassium iodide, Ki. Okay. Uh, so what I want you girls to do is to simply dump these in there and then stand back. Okay. okay. So um, you're going to make sure you get it in there and don't knock over the tube. And it's not going to happen super, super quick, but basically you want to look like this. So if you guys can pick those up, be ready to pour them. This is called elephant toothpaste, okay? Um, all right, you ready for this? On three, one, two, three, dump it in, step back. Nice. Oh. Oh. Feel around it. Uh, do you feel how that feels? Is it? Uh, oh, class, what it feels like. <laughs> it's hot. Very good. Um, so this is another. This is another uh, exothermic reaction releasing heat. Pretty cool. Oh, you see why they call it open toothpaste? Um, pretty cool. Now all those bubbles you see, all those bubbles you see are the oxygen bubbles that were trapped from the release. Uh, the reason they're trapped in there is because um, of that dish soap. We trapped all those bubbles. Um, pretty cool. You guys can go have a seat. That's awesome. That's so cool. cool. On three. One, two, three. Dump it in. Cap it up. Very good. Nice. And hopefully we get a little oh. larping. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. You guys will pour it in and we'll see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> And cap it up, go ahead. Go quick, oh. Julie, go, go. Oh, nice, good, Ew. nice. Not bad. That's gross. Yeah. Oh, oh. Back to the front here and feel this. Let the class know what you're feeling. That's just oh. gross. <laughs> you can touch it, it's okay. Um, it's, uh, it'll kind of turn your hands orange a little bit. And what that orange feel is, it's not, it won't hurt you, it's iodine. And you see another thing that uh, Mr. Ryan boxed in is iodine is a product of this reaction. And so that's the same stuff they put on your uh, skin when you go in for surgery and where your skin turns yellow. That's oh, a kind of a yeah, cleaner they put yeah. on there. That's what that is. And that's why it has that orangey that, yeah, tint that around the bottom. Uh, Do you use that on potato chips to see it like, to get like the grease out? Oh, yeah, that's a good you go. Iodine will, is a starch indicator, yeah. so it'll turn. Um, but yeah, so if you look at the reaction, there's nothing dangerous about that. We have water, we have oxygen, we have so iodine. Um, <laughs> Julie, the only, the only bummer part is that it might stain their hands a little bit brown for a while. Uh, but I think you can see why it's called elephant's toothpaste now. And um, again, that was evidence that we had an exothermic reaction. So you could actually see the heat coming off of that. Um, so again, we have a, a evidence of a chemical reaction occurring there, which was... Um, uh, Exothermic.